Welcome to part two of an overview of the CQG Dom Trader features. Certain markets tend to have wide spreads between the queues with resting orders. The price ladders for symbols NGE, RBE, HOE, PLE, and NGH can be compressed, which means that ticks can be viewed in a quantity different from the exchange default. The default value for compression is 5 Qs. Click the compression button to turn compression on and the button background turns orange. Click the button again to turn off compression and the background is gray. Actual ticks and not compressed ticks are used for the offset value for stop limit orders. Order types are also determined by actual ticks. Click this button for those symbols that have a gap between best bid and best ask as it compresses prices between the best bid and best ask. The compression has five levels. It starts at level three, which is the original tick size. Right click the button to zoom in. Zooming in divides the current tick size by two inside the market gap. Click the button to zoom out. Zooming out multiplies the current tick size by two up to the original tick size. This row of buttons is for placing market orders or orders to join the current best bid or best ask. Let's now turn our focus to the Dom Trader price ladder. The center column on the Dom Trader ladder is the price column. The last trade indicator shows whether the last trade was higher up arrow or lower down arrow than the previous trade. Displaying the last traded volume on the indicator is optional. The best bid and best ask are indicated by green and red highlighting. The best bid offer spread outline is indicated by the rectangle. Displaying this outline is optional. Recent trade sequence is represented by circles of varying size indicating the prices that have been active most recently. The larger the circle, the more recently that price was traded. You can place orders when you are zoomed out. When you zoom in, these orders are displayed at the nearest available price. You can roll your mouse over the order icon to display order details. On the price ladder, the green line is the high of the session and the red line is the low of the session. This row of buttons below the price ladder grid is used to cancel groups of orders. The number of orders that will be canceled is displayed on the button in parentheses. X buys cancels all buy orders for that symbol and contract month. X all cancels all orders for that symbol regardless of contract month. X All Liquidate All cancels all orders for all symbols on the current account and liquidates all positions for the current account. X Global cancels all orders for all accounts. X Sells cancels all sell orders for that symbol and the contract month. If orders have not been placed, then the buttons appear dimmed. The size buttons at the bottom of the DOM Trader window allow you to change the default quantity that will be used when you place orders. The size entry box displays your default order quantity and allows you to directly enter a number in the size input box to override the default. You set the button values on the risk tab in trading preferences. Now we'll review how to enter an order by dragging and dropping to a price. Set the order qualifiers and quantity for your order using the buttons on the DOM trader. Click and drag the price you want to buy or sell at to the buy or sell column. 
If you have notifications turned on, then you'll receive a confirmation message. Click OK. Your order is placed and the order icons will be displayed on the DOM trader. To switch between the duration order type and the stop order type, press Control. You'll notice the order icon at the top of DOM Trader change. For example, suppose you have Iceberg Day set for order duration and DOM Triggered Stop selected for stop management. If you place an order, the order will be a day iceberg order. If you press control while placing the order, the order will be a DOM triggered stop. To enter an order with fast click, you can place orders in just one click if fast click mode is activated in the trading preferences. Click the buy or sell column at the desired price level. To enter an order using the buy and sell buttons, click the buy or sell button at the top of the DOM trader. This concludes part two of an overview of the CQG DOM trader features. Thank you.